Well, if you want to beat the rush to the polls on Super Tuesday, today is your last day to vote early. Jen is in Bedford this morning. And Jen, there's a lot on the ballot aside from the candidates vying to be president. Yeah, just take a look around out here, Russ. It is a sea of campaign signs. If you plan to vote today, remember, you need to bring with you one of those seven approved forms of voter ID. And you might find that there are more than just a few people who will be joining you at the polls. Texas now has more than 16 million registered voters, the most ever for our state. That's about 925,000 more registered voters than in 2018 and nearly 2 million more than in 2016, the last presidential election year. In addition to the crowded field of Democratic candidates vying to challenge Donald Trump for president, among the races we will be watching are the Texas 32nd. Five Republicans there are challenging Democratic freshman Colin Allred, who unseated longtime Republican incumbent Pete Sessions back in 2018. And in Texas's 24th congressional district, Republican Kenny Marchant narrowly retained his seat back in 2018. But last fall, Marchant announced he is not running for re-election, creating the first election within that district without an incumbent since 2004. Voter turnout is expected to be high in North Texas. The latest numbers show in Tarrant County, 92,617 ballots cast. In Collin County, it's 29,600 people. Dallas County Elections reports 73,350 ballots cast as of Wednesday. Now, polls here are open at 7 this morning. If you're trying to find the polling location in your neighborhood, just go to your county's elections website to double check. Live in Bedford, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.